Charles Dunbar was an African-American poet of the late 19th century. He was born and raised by freed slaves in Dayton, Ohio. Dunbar's writing is known for its colorful language and use of dialect. He said to have a brilliant rhetorical structure and conversational tone. He was one of the first African-American poets to be recognized nationally. He has written books of poetry, short stories, novels, and a play. He attended an all-white school yet still participated actively as class president and editor of the school newspaper. Dunbar's experience with the newspaper and criticism faced the school inspired him as a writer. His poems would consist of making light of racial superstition. He would take very serious life situations, things black people would go through on an everyday basis, and shed light on them in creative ways. His poem, Beware the Mask, speaks to black people and their being black in a day and age where they aren't accepted as equals. We wear the mask that blends and lies, that hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile, with torn and bleeding hearts we smile. And mocked with myriad subtleties, why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? Nay, let them only treat us while we wear the mask. We smile, but O oh great Christ, our cries to thee from tortured souls arise. We sing, but oh the clay is vile beneath our feet and long denial. So let the world dream otherwise, we wear the mask. Followers Dunbar influenced writers after him as far as formatting and poem ideas. He inspired greats like Maya Angelou. When titled her autobiography, I Know I Look Crazy the Third Thing, a line from Dunbar's poem, Sympathy. According to Wikipedia, Angelo also said that his work inspired her writing ambition. Paula Dunbar's work fits into that writing period because of the current situations that were happening at the time. She managed to work through and write poems even though her health was deteriorating, but on February 9, 1906, <coughs> she died of tuberculosis. I find Lawrence's way of writing interesting how he wrote most of his poems exactly how he felt or how blacks were perceived to talk. Either way, he kept them to sound like that instead of rewriting it to sound normal. I find that interesting because I'm not sure if he did that to make a statement or if he just didn't want to change how he did things. Yet in other poems like We Wear the Mask, it's written regular like the message is directed to white people. Lawrence's work impacted not only his era, but writers after him.